individual effort right here by McDavid just to stay with this puck. Once, twice, three times, he buries it. Here's a chance for Dreisaitl. He shoots. He scores! Starting it off, it's Darnell Nurse now. Connor McDavid moving in with speed. He shoots. He scores! Well, guess who? Connor McDavid with an absolutely enormous goal for Edmonton, down 2 0. But you can see things starting to build for Edmonton, and he just takes this and walks through four Los Angeles Kings and zips this one short side on Jonathan Quick. Head up, walks on the line. You can see the extension by Mantha, but no. Dyson had some room, decided not to shoot. One timer for Barry. Blocked by Denoa, broke his stick. Here's a chance for Dreisaitl, he shoots, he scores! Dreisaitl and Sean Dersey, good puck recovery, battle along the wall, set things up. This blast is what broke the stick, and that stick gets dropped down the ice. This pass goes off the stick, slows down, and Leon Dreisaitl just outweights Jonathan Quick. It's McDavid, no looker, he knows exactly where Dreisaitl is. Jonathan Wick comes out to try and cut down that angle, but you give Leon Dreisaitl 55 goals in the regular season. Now Dreisaitl from the corner to the blue line. Nice and buried over to Nugent Hopkins. What timer! He shoots! He scores! Leon Dreisaitl! And they get possession right off the bat. A face-off one. This one that eludes Jonathan Quick. He doesn't have a clue where it is on the sharp angle shot by McDavid. Then Tyson Berry settles things down. Back to Berry, sets it up for the one-timer. And for Leon Dreisel, you've seen that so many times from that position. That puck gets up on edge, but he beats Quick. Oh, this is a, a must-power play for Edmonton to get back into this one. Hockey Night in Canada panel talked about it during the second intermission. Here's a chance for McDavid! Scores! Backhander top shelf, putting the Oilers within one! Well, I'll tell you what, Scott Oak talked about it. One shot between Dreisaitl, two shots, one each. Between the two big guns in this game, only three shots for each in the last eight periods. And Connor McDavid digs out this puck. The poke check by Quinn almost bobbles that puck, but such great hands by McDavid. He holds on to it. Quick gets a piece of it, skate to stick, and he elevates over the sprawl quick afterwards to make it a one-goal game. Puck was coming to the front of the net, taken over by Dreisaitl. He's got McDavid with him. McDavid powering through, pass, Dreisaitl shoots, score! Short-handed goal, and you knew right away, as soon as this puck went to Dreisaitl, he's going to give it to McDavid. Up the ice, it's Brett Kulak that draws someone to him as well. Dreisaitl, the follower, and as he's done, McDavid driving wide, tries to get this to Kulak. Great defensive play by Iofala, but right onto the stick of Leon Dreisaitl. And he buries it. Wastes no time elevating up over top of Jonathan Quick. Right back where they started. One goal game. David quickly to the net. Now behind. Nugent Hopkins back to McDavid. Dreisaitl shoots. Score! David, this is an aggressive penalty kill by the Los Angeles Kings. But when he attacks the net, everybody has to converge. As a result, plays are there. And this is a beautiful pass. Right over to Leon Dreisaitl. Here comes McDavid driving to the net. Referendum attack, and he scores! There's the start the Oilers were looking for. Right back out there after the Ryan line goes on the ice, and Connor McDavid wraps this around. Very quick start for Edmonton. This is exactly what they're looking for. That's below the goal line. Get some speed, and he just gives a little give and go at the offensive blue line, walks around, and takes it to the net. And that's just Connor McDavid coming to play early on in this game. Off the face off, the puck eventually comes to Yamamoto. Trying to find McDavid, he does, going to the net. Couldn't get the shot away, he still has it. Wrap around backhand attempt, he still has it. He shoots, he scores! Look at this place. 
unbelievable. Big players in big moments. That's what this is all about. Beautiful little area pass by Kyler Yamamoto. Sends in Connor McDavid. It's a penalty delay to Sean Dersey, but he just stays with this puck. This is the relentless effort of Connor McDavid. Dersey thinks the penalty's been called, but it hasn't. One chance denied. Skate the stick. Barry for Connor McDavid. And you think he likes that? This place has erupted. You raised your level, especially in the last two games. How determined were you to lead your team to victory? I'm just part of the team, man. I'm just part of uh, part of a great group, and um, you know, just uh, proud of the group and proud of the, the comeback in the series. One province, one fierce rivalry. The Oilers and Flames back to the future. Two of the best lines in hockey. 301 points for the Calgary Flames. 274 for this line for the Oilers. Wide on Zadora, but a shot right on him. A rebound and a big hit there along the boards in front. Connor David scores, and Edmonton gets one back. Supplies the spark, of course. It's Connor McDavid, but it's a good hard four check here. Richie doesn't realize he's got pressure behind him. Keane does a good job with the body. Barry just kicks this one back in front, and how about the patience? Curl and drag across, force the five hole to get open by Markstrom. Markstrom was deep, wasn't expecting the turnover, and then just great patience. And here's McDavid, maybe a chip break here. Dry cycle, scores! It's a one goal game here in the final minute of the second period. And look at how deep he is here. Okay, does he have the back leg? Well, he can jump up, the puck's there, and then he wins the battle on Anderson, and the glove side again for Markstrom. That's three in a row that the Oilers have been able to beat. McDavid keeps it alive. Anderson not been able to get there. And the legs of Dreisaitl got him in position. Another one. Turnstile pass to Branson. Has it again on this left side. Rick wide, looking for McDavid. Bounced off the Zadora contact. In front, Connor McDavid, another beauty. And this one will count. Well, the Connor McDavid show continues on. Dreisaitl throws it to an area. And then McDavid does the rest, protects it with his skate. Good little read, and there's one just sliding across. Markstrom bit hard. McDavid keeps his feet moving right there, just pulls it to the outside, gets it around the right pad, and no question on that one. Smith out the plate away from Lewis, and it gets past the door off, and it's a break for Brian Title. Leo, Brian Title scores! This shot pass by Mike Smith. Pass the defenseman, Leon Dreisaitl. High ankle sprain, no problem. That's twice now he's been able to separate. He did it in game one there. He uses his feet. Blake Coleman over the line. And a pass back, Lewis was heading off. The Vander Kane picked it off. Here's Dreisaitl working in. In front, Kane scores! Coleman thinks that he's joining the rush. And now all of a sudden you've got a bad change. You've got a turnover to the exact wrong guys. And the patience of Dreisaitl to the outside. He waits for Good Branson to commit to going down. For Markstrom, it was the opposite the last time. Sliding from his right to left against Hyman, unable to get it. Now from his left. Pressure here by the big Calgary line. But Dreisaitl's going to put up the fire and work it to center. Here's McDavid turning away from him. To the net. You run out of superlatives to talk about what McDavid can do. Watch this play. Put it between your legs. It's not always about speed. It's about agility. And there again, waits till the last second as Anderson. Once Anderson commits, it's between the stick and the skate. Dude, the flame zone. Five minutes into overtime in game five. And McDavid scores! Game winner! Series winner for Connor McDavid! Only fitting that it would be Connor McDavid get the series clinching goal. Relatively quiet night by McDavid. Chris, here's the turnover McDavid off Hannafin. Then dry title just fought McDavid. Goes right into the slot, his favorite area. That quick wrister. And the Oilers are moving on. What a beautiful play by McDavid to get open and allowing that pass from Dreisaitl into the most dangerous area on the ice. Leon Dreisaitl's fourth 
point of the game. And Connor McDavid with his seventh goal of these playoffs. What now? What, what about your view of the conference final and who you might face? Uh, I don't think we necessarily care. We, we know what we got in our group. We know what we got on our team. Uh, I think we can play with any team in the league. Um, when, when we're on our game, I think we're a tough, tough team to handle. Are you ready? It's showtime. The most anticipated conference final matchup in years. Oilers and Avalanche. The matchup that evokes memories of the glory years. McDavid with a face-off win. Drysaddle played it in front. That goes off the ski to Picard. Has him on the lift. Kept in by Drysaddle. McDavid loose. Drysaddle cross and Connor McDavid's got it. A goal here to make it 7-4. Don't leave your couch. I mean, at any point, the, the goals come fast, they come furious. And you mentioned McCarr. McCarr makes the in-step block there. Now he's hobbling around, he's looking. That creates the opportunity. Kane does a good job at the line. And how about this pass by Leon Dreisaitl? I mean, the patience and calmness to pull that one back, wait till the stick is gone. Everybody's in panic mode. He tried to slide it across to Hyman and just got into the glove of the defender. Dry settles. Got Hyman. Scores! McDavid draws two players to him and Zach Hyman. A right-handed shot so often you can fake that shot. Pull it quickly to your back end and he just gets it up into the top third of the net as Ramsos goes down. Barry across, dry settle up high. Finds McDavid, Scott scores! Facing elimination, he has now scored in four consecutive games. And a timely power play, just get the puck into the top guy's hands. Good patience down low, up high. And Dreisaitl's got this seam right red. And how about that release? Zach Hyman on the back door, maybe a potential for a pass. Instead, it's a hot shot right up and over the glove of Francois off the post and in. And the crowd goes wild.